Me amo Larissa. Um, I'm a Kayla. <laughs> and so we're trying not to say the words like because we realize that we say, say it a lot, lot when we talk. <laughs> Almost every other word is like. So we're gonna make a video of us saying like. Maybe. Of not saying like. Of trying not to say like. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little advice. Or video. just maybe just ranting about certain subjects. Probably um, more ranting than advice. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> so. We're just gonna rant about different topics Mainly about relationships. relationships probably. Okay. We should start the stages. Okay, so the friend stage? Yeah, friend stage. You know when you see someone and you think they're cute? And then you just want to get to know them, that's yeah. just about it. Yeah. Maybe their name. Yeah. How, how old they are? <laughs> Hopefully if they live in the same... In the same state. State. Hopefully in a 10 mile radius. Um, so friends, talking, talking, no, like that talking stage, sure. the whole like butterflies, Cheesiness. the niceness, pickup lines, you know, all the cheesiness, oh, the extremely cheesiness, yes, gets a little annoying, but truthfully but, girls like it, yes. I'm just saying, you guys know we all love it at some point, but to an, extent, you, yeah. to an extent, to an extent, we don't want to hear all these lines, we want to and then afterwards, people. usually we get into the relationship stage stage and it gets really complicated at that part people drama fan boys okay anyways back to this so in those relationships cheating okay first off if you're gonna cheat why are you in a relationship in the first place? Exactly. Like, even if you think about it, like... No. Like, <laughs> if you think about cheating, like... Just don't do it! Like, if you don't... <laughs> if you but don't like the person, don't be in a relationship them. with them! Like, why break their heart? <laughs> oh my god, she's We're laughing to because be... we keep saying Mike, and the point of this video was to be serious Mike. and not say like... Okay, okay. Anyway, okay. Secrets, just, too. Secret. Cheating and secrets. Secrets goes along with cheating because you usually lie about it. Yeah, unless you're just cheating. Anyway, yeah. secrets. Don't keep any secrets. Like, even if you want to and it might hurt them, it's better it to tell them because yeah. later on they're going to find out. Yeah. Even if you guys are broken up, they're going to find out and they're going to be like, what the heck? Yeah, there's no point in keeping secrets. Like, it may be the easier thing to do, but it's not the right thing to do. Um, another thing is long distance. That's the I've been in long distance for a really long time. Especially if you're like. The one waiting. Yeah. Or you're insecure and that person is a Or if there's no communication between you guys. Like, like, so much drama. drama. Don't have a relationship on Facebook. Don't. Yeah, don't. It'll cause so much drama. All these girls are kind of trying to get at your boyfriend and vice versa. And it's just going to cause too much drama. Especially if you're in a long distance relationship because you can't really have full trust in yeah, them. Yeah, because they're so far away. You don't know if they're really doing what the girls say they're doing. Or, or the guy says they're doing. Yeah, you don't know. It's just what a bunch of talk over the internet. Not yeah. even like video talk. You can't even like. It's just terrible. Just don't even get into it. If you're starting one now, good luck. Stop. I'm no. not just saying no, stop because you might have some really serious feelings for them. Just good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> okay, it might work out for you. I don't know. If it does, Good. congratulations. You found a keeper. And don't do anything stupid or mess it up because a good long distance relationship is awesome. Okay. Sorry. Abuse. Abuse. That. I don't. Okay. That pisses me off when people are in an abusive relationship and they complain about it, but they will not get out of it. Like there's some Talk people to someone. Like there's so many people out there that will listen to you and help you and everything. Your friends, your family. You might not want to tell them, but they're there. 
And there's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's the people that don't even talk to anyone. But there's the people who tell everyone and complain about it. And then do nothing. They take everyone's advice and they throw it away. They don't listen. To, like, they don't. They don't truly. They don't truly. You know what we're trying to say. We just can't say it. And it makes me feel bad that I can't do anything to help people. Yeah. Because when your friends are trying to help, don't take it shut, for granted. Yeah, don't shut shut them away. Like they're really, they really care for you. They're really trying to help you. Don't. Yeah, it might get annoying and all, but but then again, so is hearing you say that you're getting abused and you're not doing anything about it. Think about your friends. Like, think, just think about you. Like seriously, think about you and what you deserve. Yeah, you don't deserve to be. You're more important than that, and. And don't research. abuse other people either. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> that you I mean, love. We bully each other, but we're messing around. We would never like. I would have never leave a bruise on her. Yeah, her. <laughs> Anyways, um. Oh, oh yeah, please. Don't abuse someone else. Like, take their feelings into consideration. You might be mad, but don't take it out on them. Like, so write a letter. Went, but you went to a pillow. Yeah, Hit a pillow. Bite a pillow. Punch, punch a wall like this one does. Shut up. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt Don't, no, yeah. Not, no. not, do not. That doesn't do anything do not but hurt let you me give you that talk. I will give you that talk. It's going to be an hour long situation. Down. And I know how it feels, but we just want you to know that you're not alone. There are other people out there to help you. Okay. Unsure feelings. <laughs> Unsure feelings. Okay, if you're in a relationship and you start... To have feelings with someone else, or you're losing feelings for that one person, then just break up with them. Don't stay with them if you're not sure if you want to be with them, or take some time to yourself to figure out if you want to be with them. Like, don't waste your time and theirs. Or if you're in that talking stage and the guy asks you out and you don't like him, or you're not sure you like him, or you think he might not be worth it, don't say yes. You're gonna break his heart. Don't, don't say yes. Hey, the breakup. The breakup. The awkward thing. Yeah. You may feel fine about it, and others, you may cry for days. But don't spend all your time crying over it. Like, if it wasn't meant to be. Okay, wait. We're not, we're not talking about specifics here. We're talking about. Okay, okay. You love you guys. Yeah. Don't force it. And it's gonna take time. It may take a lot of time. But if you're like me, happen. it takes a year to get over a person. And you know that saying, like, let things come to you? If it's taking forever, step it up and do it yourself. Make something happen to yourself. Or just let it go and move on. Or not. Either way. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. Go. Just, you can go cry in the shower. Go cry in your pillow. Go write in a journal. Go write a song. Go... Listen to songs that make you think about it and then yeah, until you, you let it out. Stop paying to your advantage. Don't let it make you famous. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Then that person will be mad jealous. Exactly. <laughs> like don't sit there and mourn over it like forever. Like sure you're gonna cry, cry, cry it out. It's no no point in pulling it in. Yeah. Really there's no point. Because if you hold in then you're gonna end up abusing yourself. Or you're to just gonna point. like Go and on. Don't take that. that hurtness and that pain and take it Not all every out. guy is going to be exactly yeah. the same. They may all seem the same at one point, but give them a chance. Like, <laughs> right. Same, like, give it a chance. Yeah, don't. Something good might turn out of it. You never know. And sure stage, did we? Oh, we missed the stage. Mm -hmm. In between friends and before talking. Okay, well, let's go back to that. Okay, when you're friends and you don't really know if you're talking or something like you can use my uh, what's that term? technique technique and just be straight up and ask them like what where do we stand right now or you know. sometimes it's a little more complicated than that I know you get scared you get nervous you don't want to know the answer to the question but would you rather ask the question or go on forever not knowing the answer? And asking yourself what if? Yeah, you don't want to live with all these what ifs. I mean, at some point in time, you're going to have to ask him and get to the same Yeah, you, you want to know. You don't want to be like led on thinking like, oh yeah, we're talking, we're at this stage. And be let down because you didn't ask and you never knew. 
and in the meanwhile he was talking to someone else or she was talking to someone else. And, um, we didn't talk about the dream, okay? Relationships can be so yeah, I know we're young and you people are gonna be like, oh, they're so young, they don't know about love, blah blah. blah. Just because we don't know about love doesn't mean we know what it feels like. We know what we feel, how we feel. And it might not be how you feel, but we're just explaining from our experience how we felt. And oh, and when you're in a relationship, don't change for that person. Yeah, if they don't stick to yourself. Yeah, if you don't, if if they don't accept you for who you are, then they don't need to be with you, or you don't need to be with them. Be with someone who accepts you for who you are. But if and like it's what you do, and if it's who you are, then and if it's something you don't want to change yourself. Then tell them, like, don't change for them, because you're gonna end up being mad at yourself later on. Or mad at them even more. Yeah. Or when you're moving and the person asks you to stay for them as the sole reason why to stay. You have to explain to them you can't. Your family is moving. You have to move with them. You can't just stay in an abandoned house. Like, it, it'd be sweet and all. And, Girls would love it, or guys would love it if you stayed for them and you were the only reason. But soon enough, if yeah. you guys like break up or something, then what is that person gonna do? They're gonna be alone. Don't try and force someone to do something like that. They have to understand like what they're going through and what their family needs them to do. Don't let someone like mess with your feelings. Don't let them push you over. I should be talking about this. But oh. like. It's just gonna hurt you more. Like, don't let them build you up one day and then just like knock you down the next. Cause that's just gonna put you in a place that you don't want to be. Yeah, and it's just. Oh, and then there's those guys that like you when you're ignoring them. And then, and then as soon as you show them attention, they are gone. Yeah. Those are, don't, don't, as soon as don't deal with it. Just drop them right there. Yeah. As soon as they make you feel like. You're less than what you are. Yeah, just let him go. It's stupid. You may think, oh, he'll change. He won't be like this anymore. No, Chances are he will be. He is going to be. He will. If that's how he treated you from the beginning from day to one. this point, he's going to do the same. There's no changing that type of guy. You may think there is. If you want to keep trying. But the same means. guy. Okay, I don't want to talk about this, but... Try your hardest not to give guys chances, more than one chance. Both don't do that. Um, I've given guys five chances. They turn out like that. After they, the second chance, I believe in second chance. Yeah, second chances I believe in. After that, if they really want to change, don't waste your time. You're just going to get more time. Oh, like girls don't know what they want. Just, we don't we really, really don't know what we want. We may think we know what we want. We've been talking for 20 minutes. We may think we know what we want, but... We really, like, guys, we'll sit there and ask what you want. We don't but know. You, I'm we're, we're just, we we are just as sure as you are. I cannot take between curly fries and regular fries. I'm trying to head fries. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, we're just, we don't know what we want. We, we're complicated people. Guys will come up to me and ask me, what does my girlfriend want? I don't know what your girlfriend wants. I don't know what your girlfriend wants. Don't, don't ask a girl what another girl wants. Because like, half the time, we don't even know the girl. Like, even if we do, they think totally different than we do. Yeah. Just because, like, I may think one thing, and she may be thinking a whole different thing about when subject yeah like when a guy says what does my girlfriend want oh go chase after her but really like she wants yeah, the guy to leave her alone her like, we say we want guys to chase after us one second but then in the next second if you try chasing me alone if you try chasing after me i will stop you in your face <laughs> i'm serious and i hit like a dude 